it's not done. I have a lot of things to address with you guys. one more log to my tuner so all I gotta do hit this button right here data log and it's data logging he wants a fourth gear pull from 2000 all the way to 8 This car is just filthy. I haven't washed this car in about, I don't know, maybe three weeks. So guys, we did a lot of things to this car. We added a header back here. Finally has a header. We went down one size and pulley, bigger crank pulley. We have the supercharger bracket that actually prevent belt slip. I'll explain this stuff in the future we have a max speeding rod oil catch can and a lot of other things so basically the issue that we have right now is the 1650cc alpha injectors are actually maxed out I did not prepare myself to make this much power we're actually gonna go one size higher in supercharger pulleys so um, I'll lose about one or two pounds of boost maybe three pounds of boost but it's all good I'll be able to rev all the way to 8,000 maybe 8,600 I mean, the tune isn't even done and this car is already flying. I mean, if the tune is complete and my injectors were not maxed out, I would be probably pushing about maybe 430 to the wheel, which is a lot on a light chassis like this, maybe 3000 pound chassis. So guys, I'm about to go to the house and me and my brother, we're gonna go ahead and change the supercharger pulley, send my tuner an extra log and probably just call it a day on the setup. I mean, this is my daily driver, so I don't wanna go too crazy on it but the goal is 400 to the wheel. Obviously we can't determine that until we get on a dyno, but this is just my estimate. Before I go back to the house, let me go ahead and do some revs for you because we do have a header now and before it was super quiet. So guys, we just started working on the car and the belt is so tight, we're just gonna cut it off. Then we're gonna go 105 millimeter uh, supercharger pulley and then we're gonna put a different belt. But this belt is just really tight, so. I cannot take it off with, uh, yeah, manually, yeah, I have to cut it. Right. This guy. This thing is super, that's it. Belts. All right, guys, we're going back and forth. It's been like two hours just finding a belt, but we finally found it. And Top of the morning, guys. Currently, I am uploading another uh, tune. So hopefully this time all goes well. My tuner is requesting a fourth gear pull once again on this bigger supercharger pulley. Hopefully it takes off about two or three pounds of boost. So my injectors are not maxed out. Another possibility that could be wrong is the fuel pump o-ring might have popped out, but I kind of doubt that happened, but we're gonna see what's up right now. Yesterday, it was just a headache. Like we thought getting a new belt was gonna be super easy, but we're going literally back and forth and it was just a hassle. <sighs> Here we are, I'm about to start this all over again. Right, guys so I got the data log for the recent pull that I did so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna send this data log to my tuner and he's basically gonna let me know if it's a fuel pump issue 
or if the injectors were maxed out because um, he's kind of leaning towards a fuel pump issue but I'm feeling like the injectors were maxed out since I have lost about three pounds of boost since I put a bigger supercharger pulley um, it should be all good hopefully all right guys my tuner actually sent me an updated log so I went ahead to upload it right now I'm gonna send him more logs and it's gonna go back to back so once we are done, we're gonna go V8 hunting. So I'll see you guys then. Yo guys, we just found a CTSV. Our bro. first victim, it's a CTSV. So. It's like a 2010. Yeah, it looks like an old one. Looks good though. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, sounds show good. Camera, show, show, show. That's not no CTSV, bro. That's a V6, bro. <laughs> oh. That's a V6.